coursing is a dog's raw instinct and catching that natural drive that the dogs have to chase and to catch prey. Um, there's very little training involved, so it's basically one of the few dog sports that's just natural skill that the dog has. Ho-ho! A lot of people start out in their own backyard with what's called a flirt pole, which is basically like a long stick with a string with a baggie tied to the end. And you're just kind of whipping it around, getting the dog focused on it, getting them to chase it. You can spin in a circle and get them to chase it there. So once you get the dog interested in the bag itself and understanding that, you know, the object is to catch that bag. And most dogs turn on to the flirt pole really, really quickly if they're going to lure course. And then once you get them good on a flirt pole, you come out here and we do practice runs. Um, and start getting them into it. And some people, you know, go ahead and enter and feel confident about it and come out here. And several of the dogs that, you know, came out here today that had never run and ran beautifully. And it was awesome to see because, like I said, it is a lot of natural instinct. So all dogs can chase the lure. All dogs can show coursing aptitude. The main difference between the regular dogs and the sight hounds is if you watch the sight hounds, they actually work together. And they're very aware of each other and trying to work as a team or as a, as a trio to kind of catch the lure. And there's a little bit more seriousness in the dogs to it as far as it really is prey and they really are studying it. They're doing a little bit more hunting where a lot of the, the other breeds are kind of chasing. So there's, there's a definite skill level difference in the dogs because it's what the sighthounds are bred to do. Handler, tally ho. I'm judging these dogs on their drive to, to chase it around the course and to complete the course without interruption. And that's what I'm judging in coursing aptitude. When I'm judging the sighthounds, I'm judging their agility. I'm judging their follow, you know, how well they, they visually keep with the lure. I'm judging them on speed. I'm judging them on endurance. Each breed is bred to hunt, each of the sighthound breeds is bred to hunt a little differently. So you kind of have to study each breed and their hunting styles so that you fully understand if that dog is working the way it's bred to work. 